was actually really spooked yesterday. I um, walked through the kitchen and my wife had the news on and it was talking about uh, Bolsonaro's uh, supporters refusing to accept yeah. the, the, the verdict. And uh, the line I remember was a bloke being interviewed and he was saying, I don't know what the question was, but he was saying what he wanted was a military dictatorship because anything would be better than uh, a, a, a communist government or something like that. Um, right. Lula's uh, communist government. And I suddenly realized in that moment, he was, he was quite animated about this. Mm -hmm. That is the way the democracy breaks down. And if yeah. you think in terms of the last thousand years in the Western world, and by the Western world, I mean the, the generic Western world. Right. So right. You know, America, Australia, et cetera. We are really, the big conversation we've had is how do we get those in power to listen to ordinary people? Mm -hmm. You think a thousand years ago, something you'll know from your own research, a thousand years ago, the king's law is, the king's rule is law. I mean, yeah. you know, when, when Canute decided to get rid of uh, the most important men in the, uh, the country who could threaten him, he just summoned them all to London and killed them all. Yeah. Um, likewise, St. Bryce's Day, um, the 1002, wasn't it? Uh, that um, Ethelred had all the, the Danes in England uh, that he could possibly kill, killed. Mm -hmm. uh, the king's rule there was adamant. And you can see how that starts to be controlled with the rise of the English common law in the 12th century. And you can see how it further became controlled because of Magna Carta and then the advent of Parliament in the 1260s and increasingly. So by 1399, a king could be deposed. Mm -hmm. And you can see how there is this not necessarily one way street in terms of power, but there's a one way street in terms of making those in power listen to the ordinary person. Mm -hmm. And that always comes all the way down to one man, one woman, one vote, which is the case here in, in the UK from 1928 onwards. Mm -hmm. Now, if we then start going against that and saying, you might have the vote, but we're going to put back in people, people back into power who don't have to listen to you. Right. We have reversed things right the way back to how they were when there was no law. Right. We are actually threatening the basis of our law and we're threatening the basis on which um, we hold those in power to account. We are empowering the mechanisms of dictatorship here. Right. Now, I know that Brazil is far from being a, a, a lovely, cuddly democracy. Right. And quite all the countries that do notionally embrace the, the electoral system, the democratic system, are, are similar. But in that moment, I suddenly realized how you do revert, how you do go from a country which is a, a liberal democracy to the opposite. And it comes when those who are voted out of power will not accept right. the government because there's nothing in it for them. It would be better to rebel and put yep. into place a dictator than, than, than to accept. They no longer want, they want the bigger bully, basically. Right. Yeah. They, want a, they want their dictator. And <clears throat> that was quite a horrifying moment because as we have greater, greater pressure on the world's resources, I think that's going to be more and more the case.